I'm here with Josh DeBonis, one of the creators of Killer Queen Arcade and some of the IndieCade team. Tell us what you were going to say about what was going on with the cabinet. Oh, hey, tell, um, tell me about the new stuff. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, one of the new things. Well, this, this cabinet is brand new. This is the first time it's ever been seen in public. Um, yeah, hot off, hot off the presses. It was actually it was printed with a, a CNC router. Like, right. it's all like a 3D model that we just cut out. Um, and so you guys keep working on the game, right? So like there's still there's a couple other gameplay features. Yeah, I, I mean I would say the gameplay is, is pretty much the same, but um, there's some aesthetic differences. Like the, I think you just heard the music. There's an attract screen now, which is I think hopefully you'll see it here, but it's also like because we're putting it in an arcade in San Francisco, that's gonna be really important. I'm just gonna hit this loud. Um, <laughs> The, and so the attract screen, I think, is really important as far as um, a, as far as being in a commercial environment. Here, I think there'll be people coming in and out and playing. It, so, so you're actually charging people to play this? Yeah, we're, I mean, we're experimenting. It with that. Play? It, it's. I mean, we're going to try all different things. The first thing it's set to. One Bitcoin. But here at the museum, it's free. Here at the museum, it's totally free. Okay. Yeah. Um, For the and, last time. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, we know that it works on free play. Like we've had it at festivals and stuff like that. People so, love it. And people love it, and so we want to experiment, like, can we make money with it, so... Can you make people not uh, love it, maybe? Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, the big challenge is, like, how do you pay for a 10-player game? So, like, what we're, we're trying first is just, like, one person Con pays... Consider one Bitcoin, just consider that. It's how, much is, right? how much is a Bitcoin? It's like $1,300 $1, now. <laughs> yeah. But, right. but, but it's, but it's like the quarter hundred. of the future. Right. But that's, you that's could, I mean, you could... I, I like the that's idea true. that one person pays for 10 players. Play, yeah. Rather than ten people having to dig up money. Yeah, that makes and, sense. And also, we want to encourage a lot of people to play at once because that's how the game is best. Fine. So, like, if one person plays and they say, "All right, I put I put in my money, come join us," you know, and then hopefully somebody else will pay for the next round. All right. All this talk about money. So, where can you play it for free? You can play it right here at the Museum of the Moving Image and Story of Queens. And what dates? It's um, starting Saturday, December fourteenth, uh, fourteenth, until March second. That's right. Um, and it'll be here for Indicate East, which is in February 14th, right? Uh, until 16th. Perfect. And it'll be your chance to check out this new, beautifully machined version of the cabinet, with the gentle gameplay tweaks, and the awesome multiplayer craziness that is Killer Queen Arcade. Get a close up of this. Yeah, uh, close up? Alright, here it is. Iron Maiden's never stopped creeping me out. They never stopped what? Creeping me out. Oh, yeah. What? How?